but oh, oh, oh you are back oh yes it seems like a week well it's not just a week because we did do a video on the monday yes killing the monday blues had a bit of time threw a video on there there you go welcome back thanks for popping by again as per usual please sit down relax um, I know for everyone over the pond, it's still your Thanksgiving. I believe it's three days, Thursday, Friday. It must be your second day of Thanksgiving. Um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone over the pond. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and anyone that celebrates it, basically. Um, you know, we, I'm sure we've got a lot of people from the US in this country. And they're enjoying their turkey as we speak. If you are vegetarian, then you eat a Thanksgiving vegetarian version, uh, maybe, of the... <laughs> I don't know what you eat. But you enjoy Thanksgiving. This is the time of the year when it gets really nice. Everyone's meant to be nice to each other, even though this horrible COVID-19 virus is still about. And um, in the UK, we've got these tear sections and uh, yeah, it brings you to tears. It really does. But hey ho, no flying, I think, at the moment. But uh, you know, I've got just building, as you know. And what are we building today? Well, we are carrying on with some wings on the Tiger Moth. Yes, yes, yes. We are doing uh, the wings, which is going to be a bit more difficult than I anticipated. Um, why? Well, let's just get to it eh, and show you why. Welcome back to the overhead cam. I really don't know why I say that. Anyway, welcome to the overhead cam. Oh, yes. On this festive Thanksgiving. Well, it's not my Thanksgiving because I'm not from America, but to all those in America, God bless you and Merry Thanksgiving and all that sort of stuff if you say that if I've said that wrong I apologize but it's Happy Thanksgiving not Merry Thanksgiving it's because it's so close to Christmas I get excited Christmas yes I do right okay so we've got the wing of the tiger moth now I did play about with uh, the other wing um, just so I could be a bit more prepped um, and so, <laughs> so so he's still prepped I'm still missing a servo it's somewhere I've got it somewhere I did do the wrong servos, I did buy the wrong servos, sorry. Um, so I will show you the servos that we will need. Um, but first things first, this is how it comes. I'll tell you a bit funny, I thought, oh my God, I don't know if you can see this. Let me go, there you go. Oh, oh no, look, I've got a hole. Uh, and then it's like, oh no, look, I've got another hole. Yeah, it, it, well, yeah, there, look, quick, there, but what's still in focus, there. But it's not, it's where the, the, the spars go, or whatever you like to call them. <laughs> I thought it was me. Anyway, those are the poor screws actually that uh, that come out of here. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> first things first is that we undo the screws. Okay. So you're saying to me, Chris, why didn't you just put those screws in the magno tray? Magno tray. I don't know. <laughs> right, so we, we pull this up. It's just a little flap with two little prongs in it. Really nice, actually. Um, I'm a bit, you know, when they tighten up their screws, I don't know if I can get this in focus or not. We give it a go. There you go. When they tighten up the screws, it does pull the material. Um, you know, maybe we could look at that and maybe get a, a nylon washer in there or something. I haven't got one, but... Uh, We'll have a look anyway. So there's a little things I have done this to the other wing, and the other wing is not completed because I was missing something. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get through this as quick as painless as possible. But there is a little thing that I'm not gonna be there. So the first thing you do is break it. Oh my god, he's broken it! I haven't. That is our little pull cord for our servo cable, believe it or not. And inside here, if you can just, you probably won't be there. We go. You could just see the tongue sticking out his tongue if it wants to get in focus there you go and that's the other one and basically you just stick a screwdriver under there and put it it's only a little little glue and then if I pull this now it's best to hold on to the other end while you do this and then there you go <laughs> so, <laughs> that is our pull cord very thoughtful of them don't you think so I think so there you go now we are going to need a servo. Now a servo, I believe, yes. Now the new servos you're actually going to need this, and I will have to edit the other one. Is the these are the HS85 BB servos. Uh, the ones I got previously, I believe, as I've just knocked down my thread. 
that is BB, is the ones I did say I was going to use are the um, HS85MG, totally wrong ones. That's okay, because we'll use them in something. Maybe the MIG, maybe they fit in the MIG, who knows. Right, so, um, yeah, so we got this. Now, um, as it sits, uh, this sits in here. Now, I have put the little rubber bit, I have put the rubber bits on, and the little copper or whatever they are, brass inserts. It's a bit of a tight fit uh, in, in here. So if you can see that, um, if I can just uh, try and get this in focus, there, where the towel of the cable and like the edge of the rubber uh, fits, it's sort of you, it's a bit of a tight fit. Um, I can't. This, in fact, it only goes one way because of the, uh, the 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 arm, the servo arm. But you can see that. So there we go. Hang on. Which this thing would be fast focus. Um, yeah. So it's a bit tight. It's not going to affect the cable too much, and it probably maybe holds it in there, you could do without the rubber bung but then again that uh, stops any vibration and also keeps it tight so we have got to drill a couple of holes which is not a problem but the first thing we, we need to do the very first thing we need to do is move this out of the way and cut cut this now we're going to need our exacto bleed and we are going to need a, uh, a file why do you need a pole? You'll find out in a minute. And we're going to need some super glue now, obviously because it's not foam. I can use my industrial grade super glue. You can use other super glues, but this is me. You don't have to use this. It doesn't say it in the manual. In fact, at this sort of stage, the manual is pretty worthless. Um, but bear with. I'm going to try and do. I'm trying to not waffle as much, too much, and I'm trying to show things in in shot so we can actually get this done. Right, so we have got to cut this out. So this little, this is where the servo arm goes in there. It's really, really bright. I'm gonna, I can tone that down maybe. So what I need to do is, I'm just gonna rub that so it gives the outline. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the exacto blade and then I'm gonna very gently follow, follow it round. I'm not gonna, don't, it doesn't have to be exact, it, you know, as long as it's kind of close as. Do, 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 do. This won't be fast enough. Fast enough? We'll be fastened. <laughs> this this part will not be speeding up. That's what I want. Silly ass. Right, okay. Lovely. So there's the little bit. We can stick it to there and save it for throw it away. Now what I oh, I got I've got like a curved side to this. And all I did is I'd very gently um just went up and down and what it does it, it it cuts the edge a lot more better a, a lot better than it does with an exacto blade so it literally keeps it to the edge which is great because then there's no little bits and also it stops you from going too close and then peeling it the wrong way I mean this is very sticky I mean it, in here you see that it's very sticky in there very sticky stuff very great Try not to stab the actual uh, door. Um, yeah, so I was just, obviously I was playing about with this, so hang on, let's just do this. Right, so there we've got our nice little servo arm hole. Now, what I did do as well is the same as I did previously, even though it's very sticky, obviously in the wet or whatever, wet, in the heat. I uh, just, if I could, uh, is it, hang on. Probably the end's blugged up. There you go. Hopefully that. I don't know why, because I do screw it on properly, so I don't no idea why. So I just put a little bit on the end there, as I do before. Probably a bit too much, as I do. A little, a little bogey bit there. <laughs> and then all I do is just put it inside and rub it around the edge. A bit of super glue around the edge. I did this before. Try not to get it on the top like I just did. <laughs> the one I made earlier is a lot better. <laughs> okay, round and round we go. Until one has finished and one is happy that it's done. I think I'm happy. There's a bit of unhappiness there. I don't know what that's come from. Right, so there you go. So that if it does pull because it heats up or gets cold or whatever, the super glue will stop it from stretching any further. 
and you're not going to end up with, like, with a big peel offs. Right, groovy groovy. Now, I do have my servo screws with me and I'm sticking myself together. First of all, let's put the exacto knife blade away. Exacto! The reason is because no, my luck, I'll end up falling on it and it'll all be messy. So, we need a couple of screws, our servo screws. Now, these are the ones I brought from uh, the shop, if you remember, which are the hex. The hex screws, the hex servo screws, which is this could be the small one. So we're going to get this. There's only one way it can go, because of the way that the control arm, the horn. If you go that way, you can see it hits the wood. Yeah, there's only one way it can go. So let's get this in nice and snug. Push it down. So it's snug, and then it's snug as a bug as a rug. And you're thinking, oh my god, look, Chris, that's only coming out a little bit. Hold it right there, don't worry about that. First of all, I really need to get a model one, I really do. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to start the hole off. It's gone straight through, it doesn't matter. The reason uh, you have to drill this is because this wood is really, I'm not sure what wood it is. I'm sure, oh, doing it again. I've got to keep, I'll keep looking at it. I don't know what wood this is, but it, if I, it'll crack. Now, before we screw our screws in, he says, let's get the magnol tree and stick it in there. Now, if you remember, the servos that we put in, the big servos that we put in for the rudder and elevator was a lot bigger. And we used the round control arm. Yes, you remember that? Um, if you look back at this, yeah, it's just a round one. So we had spare uh, big ones, which are, if you look, just a bit bigger and a bit chunkier. Now, something that uh, doesn't come with this, and it even says on the pictures he's got it, but anyway, it believes that your servos will, is, uh, is and I've, I've lost the name for them, but they're the little standoffs, I think, for the... Um, for the control arm, you see those? Same sort of thing, as you see, see I've got a bit of blue Loctite in there to stop it falling off. Uh, someone said to me the other day, in fact, I just forgot to bring it out, is it, basically, you can get a lot from uh, Motion RC these days, they come in a one-stop shop and they do sell a lot of lovely stuff, but I'm sure your local store does as well. But this one's just, uh, uh, it's just the same similar sort of thing, which is Threadlock Blue, that's all it is. This is the same sort of thing as I got uh, from my super glue, so I think it was just from Amazon, I believe. Um, yeah, so that's my lock thread. Now you use if you look, you la la la. I say that again. Is what if you're saying if you're not familiar with blue lock type, which I'm sure many of you are, um, is the fact that you get two. I believe it's two. It's blue and red. Red you put on if you don't want to get it off again. <laughs> you could probably get it off, maybe ish, uh, but uh, no. Blue. It's an, it's an anti-rattle, so uh, anti-vibration. So if I didn't put the Loctite on there and it was vibrating, eventually that nut would fall off. Or don't forget the servo's moving back and forward and eventually it would fall off. So we put blue Loctite, or in these days you get a thing called a nylock nut, which has got a bit of nylon inside the nut and it's it anti-shake or anti-rattle or anti-come loose or whatever it's called. Now, why do we want them on there? Because, because we have two of these still left. Uh, for the uh, for the um, ailerons, so you want this here, which is then going to go uh, through here onto our um, onto our servo horns or the horns elevator horns, and uh, this will shimmy shimmy. So we need to get rid of this small one. So, but anyway, you can get these little things from the from uh, the shops. I sorry, I forgot the name, but servo standoff holdy things with with Allen key bolty things, nuts and washer things. Yes, <laughs> yes. I thought I had the little packaging, so I could tell. You. Now, did I make a boo boo? Possibility. Is that going to fit in there? Yes, it is. Is it the wrong way? I believe so. Have I made a boo boo? Of course I've made a boo-boo. Have I made a boo-boo? No, I haven't made a boo-boo. So if I push that in there, switch that around a bit. If I can 
I might have to, no, I can get it on, there you go. So I want to pull that wall all the way back, because that pushes, what we got here, let's push this back on the wire, on the rubber, and I don't want that, so let's just push that back. Probably the best, not best not thing to do with that, that's probably the best with the screwdriver. You know, we could always carve a bit out of this wood, um, but I think that's fine, that's fine. Holes are lining up, it's just a bit tight, as you can see, you see that? Just a bit tight on that, but I don't know what's going on with this camera lately. It doesn't want to focus. There we go. Right, but that's fine. Right, right, right. Making a noise, not good. So now we need to put in our uh, screws. Okay, so I didn't go mega screw, but I do need to know, so I'm going to put this on auto. As you can see, it's very, very close. You won't be able to see because it's not in focus here, yeah? Very close, look. Oh, super close. If you look at this here, that's not long enough. But that's fine, but this is why they put this. So this is when our Blendem comes into effect. Our wonderful, wonderful Blendem. Um, and there's two reasons what we're gonna use Blendem now. One, I'm a great if fan, if you're never going to see them again, is to blend them. Now, also, I'm a great fan of actually test, test, also, I'm a great fan of actually testing the cable before it goes in there, which I've already done, so that's okay. Last thing you want to do is make up a lead, and uh, in fact, these ones are pre made. I bought a load of pre made leads because even though I enjoyed making the ends off, um, yeah, it's time consuming. And I think uh, <laughs> I think it's probably about two out of three that actually work. So <laughs> so keep making sure that we don't this doesn't get lost forever. It does come with a nice quite lots of uh, lots of string, as to say. In fact we let's, let's be daring and just cut that off. Uh, what we do with dare with this as well. Absolutely freezing in the UK today absolutely freezing it was foggy 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 this one oh look 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 stop rattling on chris see trouble is i could be very careful because this sticks to that there you go lucky enough i didn't do it i was hoping i was not hoping i was worried i was gonna put a hole in that we know what i'm like about putting holes in things um yes foggy as anything this morning it's still foggy it hasn't lifted it's a bit like in the olden days of 1952 i believe when we had uh, coal smog fog. Yes, very ill in the UK. Right, okay. Now we just pull ever so gently because it's got to go through uh, a few bits of holes and random stuff. And there you go, boom. We are loving that. So it's just, it's just that's just where it's, it's joining. There you go. And it's probably going through another one, another uh, rib. Where this is a wooden plane, remember, and there is our servo. So let's just put for now. Let's put two screws back in. So this, I mean, I do want to get some uh, plastic washers. I haven't got any at the moment, and I must admit, I did forget to order some. Is that uh, is that is that is that pushing down there? Is that is? That, I wonder if that is actually pushing down. Have I made a boo boo somewhere? Yes, it is. Oh my golly gosh! I really hope no one has just suddenly said, okay, that's brilliant, Chris, I'll go and make my plane. Because <laughs> you're going to hate me. Um, we have to... This actually goes too far. I didn't realise. See, Chris, you took a load of crap. But that's okay. We'll pull this back again, and we are going to uh, get my hacksaw. We are indeed. There we go. I know it's a bit laborious sometimes, me rattling on. There we go. Now, is that fitting properly? Nothing on the bottom there. That seems to be pushing down okay. So let's just put two screws in the moment because we need to put the rod in and the control arm. Okay, so this is not me making up things. So you get, you get uh, a little package in, in here. You have these two base plates, which are for reverse side. The servo horn, which I've only got one of. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. 
Houston, I've got a problem. I might have put that somewhere. But okay, we got enough for one wing. <laughs> oh dear, not a problem. Okay, so, and then these are the, the guys which we're not going to be using. Um, what we could do, no we're not, because that's if you if you have like a, a, a bend. And then these screws are the screws, two screws that go straight through the uh, aileron. This is the problem we've got, okay. It says about going here, which is absolutely fine. It's not a problem at all, that's where it should go. Um, it's all, it's all, the really weird about this servo as well, about the box, is it's not straight. It's on an angle, which is quite weird in itself. I don't know why it's like that, why it wouldn't be straight. And it's on an angle, I don't know. And should this be straight on here? And then the uh, and then the control rod should be straight, or should the control rod follow that path, which would be there? Now the problem is, is here. Now I don't know if you're going to see this. Where it should go here? Can you see that? It's empty. Major boo boo. This is where they've cut holes in it, either to save a bit of balsa wood or, or weight. This side. It's also got some in. This is this. This has got little divots. Uh, it's really hard to see because I don't really want to rub them in. But these have got little round divots going all the way along. And then here you've got big round divots like that. Go all around there. In here. The only place there's a bit of wood is there. And if I put this in fact, let's put this in the uh, servo. Uh, making a hole so if I put this in here in fact let's just uh, undo my little nut no bolt so it's gonna be bad enough anyway because of the you know there's not a lot of room behind the servo so when we got we got really cut this down to to its extent really because yeah so if I put, oh remember I've got to probably drill a hole out here haven't I for this, like I did the last one. So where would the best place put it? I mean that's where it's got to go, that is where the servo lines up. If I tighten it up a bit more, that is tightened. So that's where it's, if I just put that in the little gap, that would be, there you go. So this is where it's got to go and that is right on that little round piece. And on the other side, you've got the little round piece. So there's nothing really there to hold on. The only place it can really go, I believe, is there. Oh, there. Here is solid wood. It's solid wood the other side. And we've got a long screw. Ta-da! <laughs> I got a bit carried away. Sorry. Right, so let's explain. Okay, first things first. I need to uh, talk about a few things first. Now, when you're drilling the holes, obviously you must do them a lot better than I have. Take your time. Pretend, you know, don't, don't do it live or on YouTube. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it, I've, it, it's got a bit wonky on this hole. I, I, I rushed a bit. It doesn't, you can't really see it, but I can. Um, not really happy with it. Can't really drill in. I could drill two more set. Go a bit more further. Drill two set. Two more separate holes, but uh, I'm not going to. So um, I think that would be fine. I don't want to risk. It's basically I, I should have gone a bit more clockwise on this. Um, it's just under. Now, unfortunately, at the moment where I drew, had to drill, you can see on here. Really annoying that this lip overhangs here. It doesn't interfere. With the um, ailerons, it's fine, but it's just annoying. But, it, you know, I could have gone back a tad further. I could have gone right to the edge. Sorry. I could have gone right to here. So when you're when you're doing your, yours, you know, just look at that. You can probably go with that plastic right to the edge there. Then this would bring this. I didn't think of this, but th this is what this channel is all about. That You don't have to make my mistakes. And then this would have been a bit further. And you can see a bit more now how it's a bit rotated it needs to be a bit more further on my mistake i've got to live with it all right so the hole i've gone into is, is the third from the bottom or one two three four from the top um let's put it in uh, manual mode 
and I think that's a lot more you're getting a lot more there aren't you deflection uh, let's stick it in auto yeah I reckon that is I mean we'll measure it anyway of what it says in the manual how much it should go um, but I think that's that's it's, it's your preference it really is your preference we'll find out when she flies uh, maybe I should come up a hole. I mean probably the best thing to do is that when you you should cut this when it's off with the right drill bit I mean, it's still it's, it's moves, but it's not I think two mil drill bit and, and then drill all the holes So it's easier to, to, to play around um, But yeah, I, I think that uh, that is um, The Aleron servo on um, I think we're probably about up with time unfortunately, but there is a quite a major thing really because um it's wrong. Alrighty, so, um, oh, it's getting cold in the hangar again because I turned off the heater. Okay, um, so yeah, so, you know, I, as I say, I, I make mistakes so you don't have to. Um, I mean, this, you know, okay, it's not a big mistake. It just, it's turned it a bit and it needs to go back a bit, like uh, just a little bit, almost, uh, I don't know, that's uh, an eighth, maybe move back an eighth, which is about three mil, something like that, four mil, three mil. <coughs> you, but you see it can be done um, what that's going to be like I can't this is not exactly a racer the Tiger Moth um, she will probably quite go past um, but she's not going to be a racer so I don't know how much uh, deflection uh, resistance that's going to have on the air um, if that's such a word I think that's correct anyway <laughs> but you can see the steps I took and you can improve on those if you are building this so as I say you, you know you mean, oh god, yeah, I remember what Chris did, you know, um, won't do that. <laughs> um, as I say, I'm going to cut them, I'm going to take the screws out, I'm going to cut them down, uh, I'm going to sand that. I I'm still in two minds whether to move it. Um, I've got enough room on the uh, the rod to wind it out. Um, also, this is, I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? I was out shot, that's all right then. As I say, I left my little thing across that I put the camera on, don't worry about it. I'll show you one day when we do a hangar tour, maybe. If you want a hangar tour, let us know. We show you all these beautiful planes that we've not unboxed, that have unboxed before I did YouTube, but uh, that we will get around to. Um, so I'm not going to carry on rattling on about the same thing because I always do that and I take too much valuable building time, which is the end chit chat anyway. Um, but I hope this helped you, um, you know, to, to make you. I'm sure the big modelers out there uh, uh, just know this anyway, but. A noob like me and maybe a noob like that's watching this that loves this Tiger Moth, the passion this Tiger Moth as I have and uh, you know wants to do it right. I, I was dreaming about this, I really was about you know am I going to do two holes, am I going to measure. Now what I am going to do and it's, it's probably a good idea that you do it is the reason that I'm not doing the other one quickly is I'm going to measure these holes, uh, uh, I'm going to measure sort of both ways uh, you know along and up so I get the exact same positioning on the other wing. It probably won't make a much difference. Um, you know, once you've got, you know, the, the server only travels so as much as you tell it or, or, as, or as standard. But, you know, it just worries me that it's not the same and it might be a bit off and, you know, that'd be the difference of like suddenly turning this way and you go and then that way is not quite right. I don't know. I could be blowing smoke out my ass or something like that. Anyway, this is the, what day is today? It's Friday the 27th, that Friday feeling. And I'm feeling good. I am feeling good and I hope you feel a bit better. Um, if you felt ecstatic anyway, because you're over the pond and enjoying your Thanksgiving, then I hope you had a laugh at my expense. Um, if not, well then you should do. You know, a smile a day helps all the crap go away. It really does. Um, so, and I'm still missing my teeth as you can see. Um, I will have these fantastic teeth soon. When they will come, I don't know. With all this lockdown, COVID, and God knows what else going on. And I've even got the camera. You know, I've got a little, just to stop you there. I've got a little bubble on the camera that tells me when it's straight. This is straight, but it don't look straight to me. Unless I've got one leg shorter than the other. Possibility. Anyway, if you're still flying and you've got the weather, be safe and have fun. And also, you know, mask up if you're in that area. Um, if not, then have fun anyway. Um, enjoy the Thanksgiving across the pond and enjoy that Friday feeling everywhere else. I really appreciate you popping by and thanks for watching once again. See you later now. Take care. Bye bye.